Hey friends, so today we are going to be doing another Valentine DIY and here's some of the supplies that you're going to be needing for this DIY. Um, this DIY is actually going to be a Valentine doily wreath. Now I've seen these doily wreaths done on like Pinterest and on YouTube before, but we're going to actually um, make this more of a Valentine version. You're going to need three different um, size paper doilies. Now these ones all came from the Dollar Tree. They came in this package of 32, which I believe I showed in my haul. And I'm using all of the sizes except for the very large. And then I'm also using some of this leftover foam board that we used for our shadow box DIY that we did. You're also going to need some hot glue and some glue sticks. And then you're also going to need a pencil and a compass to make a circle. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna trace out our circle on this foam board. And what I am using is just a compass and I'm not really sure exactly how big I'm gonna do this yet. I'm just gonna kinda um, get an idea of what I have. Um, let's see. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm gonna set it to five. Um, on my compass and I'm gonna kind of line it up in the center and then I'm just gonna make a circle and now I'm gonna grab some scissors and I'm gonna cut this circle out of my foam board okay so I cut my circle out of my foam board you don't have to worry about it being super neat because you're not gonna even see this this is just gonna be a back piece so I'm heating my hot glue up for these larger doilies that we have, we're gonna start with the larger ones first. What we're gonna be doing is we're going to be um, folding these a little bit and taping them together so that they make almost like a cone shape like this, but the cone shape is actually gonna be flatter at one end. And then we're gonna just tape it shut so that's what it's gonna look like. Now I've just got some regular masking tape and I'm just gonna just tape the doily so that it stays shut. So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna show you how I folded it. Um, again, I'm gonna take my, my doily, I'm gonna fold one side in, and I don't wanna crease the whole thing. I just wanna put a little crease in the bottom right here, and then I wanna take the other side over like that, and just put a little crease in the bottom. So you're just creasing the bottom, and then we're just gonna take and fold this little side piece over and that's where we're gonna tape. So we're gonna be taping to the back side of the doily. So that's what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna do a bunch of these. I'm thinking I'm probably going to do about 20 of these this size. So now I have all of my larger doilies folded at the bottom and so they're making like a little cone shape. I wanna, one thing you wanna make sure is you don't want the top to be folded. You just want the bottom to be folded and flat. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start gluing these to our round circle. And basically I'm going to just get my hot glue and I'm going to, on the side that you taped right here, I'm going to just put a little bit of hot glue oops, from about halfway up. I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue like that and we're going to just stick this on this circle so that it, um, the center, you start from, the, you're gonna start from the center and you're gonna work your way around in a circle with these larger style doilies. So as you go along, you're gonna overlap these doilies one on top of the next. So again, put some hot glue on, 
We're gonna go back to the center and we're gonna just overlap onto the first one. And you wanna make sure that they're all going in the same direction. Starting in the center. first layer done and glued into place we're gonna do the same exact thing with both the medium size and the small size so I'm actually gonna go ahead and pre-do all of these so that they're already done and then once these are done I'll show you how those ones are gonna get glued on I've got a few more of my medium size pieces done so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do just like I did with the larger I'm gonna put some hot glue on the back and I'm going to start off right where I left off from the very last piece of the large ones. And I'm going to again start in the middle right here. And I'm going to keep continue to work my way around doing like a second layer. So it's almost going to look like a pinwheel going around. And overlap with the second layer and again push down in that middle so that middle stays flat as you're going along and continue to just work your way all the way back around so now you have a full layer of the medium size on top of the large size doilies so now we have two full layers I have a large layer and a medium layer and now we're actually going to start working on the small layer but the only thing different with the small layer is when we fold our small doilies just like we do with the large doilies we're gonna fold them and tape them on the back but the only difference with this is now we're going to cut off this bottom piece right here so we're gonna cut about an inch and a half off the bottom just like that okay because we want to have um, a spot in the center of the wreath where we don't want to have I don't I don't know if you can see this one see how you can see all of these overlapping we don't want to we don't want to see that on the top layer so that's why we're gonna cut off the bottom of this one um, the smallest one and we're gonna just work around in like a circle still um, but we're not gonna see this overlapping as much as we would if we hadn't cut the bottom so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all of the small pieces and then we'll show you how to glue those on so I have a bunch of the small pieces taped together and I cut the bottoms off and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start again right where we left off with the last piece but instead of bringing it this one all the way to the middle we're gonna actually bring it up so that there's gonna be um, you this middle piece is gonna be open so we're gonna glue this one put some glue on the back of this we're gonna again cover the next seam but we're gonna glue it away from the center and push it down and we're gonna do the same thing work our way around work our way around the centerpiece all right, I'm going to continue to go all the way around and when I'm done you'll actually be able to see the circle right in the center of this wreath. So I finished up my third layer and you, now you can see that little circle in the center. So now what we're going to do is we're going to color this wreath. I want a really subtle 
pink color on this wreath. So what I'm actually going to be using is I'm going to be using some of my blush. And I'm using my blush only because it's going to come out really subtle and light and it's going to apply nicely, better than paint would. So I'm taking one of my makeup brushes and then I picked a pink that I really like and I'm just going to take that pink and I'm going to start brushing the inner layer first with that pink blush. And I'm gonna just keep working my way all the way around until I hit every one of these doilies. But I'm just gonna do the edges. So now you can see it's just creating like a nice pink shade all the way around. So now I have this really pretty subtle pink shading on the top of my um, doily wreath. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to glue um, a hanger to this because I'm going to hang this from the mirror in my family room. So how I'm going to go about doing that is I have this really pretty pink and red heart ribbon. So I'm going to take my hot glue again and I'm gonna put some hot glue on the end of my ribbon here. And I'm gonna be pretty generous because it's gonna hold, it's gonna hold this whole wreath up. And I'm going to stick this ribbon right in the center of that circle. I'm just using this to push it down because I don't wanna burn my fingers. I'm gonna let that dry. And then um, I haven't cut my ribbon yet. I still have it on the spool, but I want to, once this is dry, I'm going to hold this ribbon up and make sure that I have enough um, ribbon to go over the top of my mirror down in my family room. Now, if you didn't want to have a ribbon to go like over the top of your um, mirror or a window or whatever, you could actually glue the ribbon onto the back side, onto the circle. You could glue like a little hanger so you can hang it that way. But I wanna be able to see my ribbon. Now, I'm gonna cover this up with some of these pretty pink roses. And I'm gonna, again, just take my hot glue And I'm gonna just hot glue, put some hot glue on one of these roses. And these were just roses from the Dollar Tree. And I just pulled them off the stem. So I'm just gonna hot glue a couple of them down. To the center. And these are the same color as the roses that are in my dining room. I try to keep my colors pretty consistent in my decorating. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this little red heart. And this is one of those um, red hearts that came off of my Dollar Tree um, this is the tinsel heart bouquet. So I just pulled one off. And again, I'm going to just hot glue one right down in the center on the top. So it almost looks like the ribbon is coming out of that heart. So I'm gonna apply a good amount of glue right on there. Just like that. And I'm gonna stick that right down on top of that ribbon. Kind of push it all down in place. And there we go, guys. Now it's ready to be hung up in my family room. Here it is. Sean hung this up above our mirror for me, and I am loving it. I ended up um, putting some of the roses on my frosted gla hurricane glasses that we did before Christmas time, and this actually turned them into like from Christmas right into Valentine's. 
just the subtle pink pops through from the blush that's on the doilies. And I almost left it like lighter around the edges um, in the back. So it kind of goes from like pinker to lighter. But that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and check out my Facebook page because I have a lot of stuff that I post on Facebook. And I am now also on Periscope at Pixie Dust Housewife. Hope you guys have a great night. Take care.